Okay, so after singing, I'm gonna follow up uh, talking about TV shows that makes me happy during this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, first in my mind is that I already watched Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and that's why I sang a Rachel Bloom song because I got into a Crazy Ex-Girlfriend again. I mean, I just love it because other it's very diverse characters it's about okay it's about a girl who who is a lawyer a big shot lawyer and she lives in new york city how was she not happy she, uh and then she uh reconnects with her ex-boyfriend back when she was in high school like maybe she was attending uh theater summer camps and then it just made her happy made her uh, uh, like a, f a famous quote on, sh on the show that it made made her feel like glitter exploding from her body and so she uh, flies follows the guy who is played by Vincent Rodriguez the third and his name on the show is uh, Josh Chan flies follows this guy to uh, to West Covina, California, and then she starts a new life. Uh, she has, she still works as a lawyer, but somehow uh, for uh, less famous, and she paid, she's paid a lot less than her previous job in New York City. But she meets some friends, and then she connects with a guy, and then of course turns out a sitcom expected. She doesn't end up with the guy but ends up with somebody else on the show and it really talks about um, depression uh, the character is that uh, is diagnosed on the show as she's having a bipolar disorder and it really uh, this show really removes uh, removes mental illness is taboo and, and as a person who is a melancholic personally and maybe has depression because I do cry uh, some some nights. I just think I just really uh, really uh, troubled about her future. So this show is really important to me, and also it, the songs are amazing. Uh, com the songs the show are really funny, very comedic, very truthful about life, uh, and not just about women's life. It's more also universal. It's about men life men you know when they're tackling problems and yeah it's really great you should watch it crazy ex-girlfriend another show is i really watched is a really old show called flight of the concords and it's a show that i used to watch when i was in high school but in the early 2000s it's also very musical and it's filled with comedic songs you should uh, it stars uh New Zealand, uh, a couple of New Zealand artists. They they used to call themselves it's the fourth greatest band in, from New Zealand. Uh, if I could just remember them at the top of my mind. Uh, Brett and oh god, I forgot his name. Because uh, it's really funny that I forgot his name. Because I also watched this other show, uh, What We Do in Shadows. Uh, it's about three vampires living in. Staten Island, and that, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like the movie What We Do, what we do in the Shadows with Jermaine Clement. Yes, the other one is Jermaine Clement. And yeah, it, it's just really funny. And I love uh, the, one of the uh, two of the characters there, the relationship, uh, Guillermo and Nandor. And like, Guillermo is like. Nan Nandor is the vampire and Guillermo is like it's like his Igor it's like you know his assistant his familiar and like I'm really curious because because spoiler alert uh, Guillermo turns out to be okay spoiler alert I'm gonna pause this video if you don't want to hear some spoiler alert you just gotta uh, stop watching this video oh okay so Guillermo turns out to be a vampire hunter and but but it's like this this show has some uh, like 
between like a romance between these two guys like there's an undertone in there so I don't know or maybe the fans are just looking hard on it and just really show about their friendship and the relationship between boss or employee or just close or between or relationship between their friendship so yeah okay another show another show what oh recently we're watching Shit's Creek where I'm on season 2 right now because yeah because of the ambience I think it's I've actually uh, ignored this show for, for a couple of years until now because uh, I, I'm a fan of Arrested Development and then if you like AD you should watch Shit's Creek because it's like almost the same thing but not really uh, it's actually uh, Shit's Creek has more heart than Arrested Development but Arrested Development is much more wittier so like I didn't really bother watching Shit's Creek until now because there's like really like nothing to watch nothing to make me happy during this pandemic so I just tried it and you know I really like it I, I get it I get it why people love it um, favorite character in there is David and then um, uh, coincidentally he's the head writer of the show and like you know if I were a head writer of the show I would make my character the best sh character on the show which is really funny and yeah I, I, so actually I think it's I think David's the most is the first pansexual character on a TV series not on a film TV series and yeah, it's really groundbreaking and I think um, because the show I don't, I don't know I've I'm just on season two right now and you know uh, AD is better but I, I I get it I get it why it won big on the Emmy this year so yeah uh, I hope I've been making a part a third video on this series about things that make me happy on this pandemic okay so bye for now